This man was paralyzed. He was crippled from his mother's womb. And he sat every day asking for something to overcome the place in his life where he was sitting there and life was passing him by. But he was paralyzed. He was stuck in a place and he was looking for something from a world that couldn't help him. But the Bible says in Acts 3 and 1, it says that at the ninth hour, that Peter and John went to the temple to pray. Getting connected to God will release you from the place you've been stuck for so many years. Here this man is now, sitting in a place every day, doing the same thing over and over again. I remember a time in my life, I would sit on the street corner and watch people go to work and watch them come on every day for many years, over and over again, repeating the same cycle every day, and nothing was changing. Looking for something in people that could not help me overcome the situation or the problem, or the bondage that I was in in my life, and I was looking in a world that didn't have the answer to my problem, but the world was the thing that was giving me things that would keep me paralyzed, keep me crippled from getting to where I need to get. It says now here now, and a certain man lame from his mother's womb was carried, whom they laid daily at the gate of the temple, which is called Beautiful, to ask alms of them to enter into the temple, who seeing Peter and John about to go into the temple, asking alms. And Peter fastened his eyes upon him. John said, look at us. So he was sitting there at the gate every day. Legally, he could sit there and beg for alms from something in the natural that would keep him in the same place every day. And sometime in life, we go through life looking for something to overcome something that the world can't help you overcome. See, natural things can help you overcome spiritual things, but spiritual things can help you overcome natural things. So he's sitting at the gate looking for a handout, looking for self-pity to feel sorry for him. He was sitting there doing what he always did every day because his mindset was sitting at the gate looking for something in the natural to keep him there. But the Bible said that Peter and John said, look it up. God's trying to get someone's attention tonight, telling you've been sitting in that place for too long now, and it's time now to rise from that place and come to your rightful self. So here he is now, sitting at the gate, and Peter and John are about to go to. Now, every day they were going to the temple to pray. The ninth hour is 3 o'clock in the afternoon. And in Matthew 27 and 45, I believe, from 6th hour to the ninth hour, Jesus, uh, they were told there was nothing moving because Jesus was on the cross. Now here, uh, at the ninth hour, they went to the temple to pray. Now every day they went by this man sitting at the gate. There's a set time that God has for you to come out of the situation, to come out of bondage, to come out of that place that has you paralyzed. Some of you have been paralyzed by bitterness and unforgiveness, and you're, you're crippled, and, and you're sitting there, and you're stuck, and, uh, and you're blaming everybody for what you did to yourself. Because one moment of pleasure will cost you a lifetime of pain. One moment of pleasure can cause you to be miserable. One moment of pleasure can cost you a life. But here this man, he's sitting at the gate every day, doing the same thing all over and over again, uh, and he's nothing is changing. Uh, he's in the same place every day, doing the same thing, round and round in a circle, and nothing is changing in life. But here, Peter and John was coming. Uh, see, God always sends him to help you to come out of that place where you are. But the thing is, uh, he's sitting there. He's comfortable there. And some of you tonight, you're comfortable where you are. You've been there for so long, and you think you're okay. You've been looking for love uh, in the wrong places. Uh, you've been looking for somebody to accept you uh -huh, like you are. But God will take you just like you are. People will change on you. People will push you to the side. Uh, when you don't go the way they want you to go. And the thing is, uh, some of you have been sitting there for years and years doing the same thing over and over again for 21 years. Year, I was sitting just like this man looking for something uh, to overcome my pain uh, and my hurt. Uh, and I couldn't find it in the drugs. Uh, I couldn't find it in the women. Uh, I couldn't find it in the world. I couldn't find it in material things. I was looking for something in nothing. Uh, and tonight, the only way you're going to come out, you got to get your place and realize, well, I need God's power. I need the anointing. Uh, I need God's glory. I need God to hear me. He said, I'm trying to get your attention. Uh, you've been there too long. Uh, and tonight, God's telling you, 
I want your attention. Huh? He's doing something in your life. Huh? Your pain right now will tell you when you had enough. Huh? Here he is now. He's sitting there. And Peter and John said, sit and go. I have none. Huh? But what I have in the name of Jesus Christ now, rise up and walk. Huh? It's one thing I found out. Sit and go can't deliver you. Huh? Money came by your joy. Huh? It came by your peace. Huh? It came by your love. Huh? Because the Bible says uh, in uh, Psalm 115, uh, around verse 5 and 6, uh, it said they have eyes uh, and cannot see, uh, have ears and cannot hear, and have feet and cannot walk, uh, have a mouth and cannot speak, uh, have arms and cannot use them, uh, and those that make them uh, are just like them. Uh, let me help you out with that. Uh, material things uh, can bring you a temporary joy, uh, a temporary peace, uh, but the real joy uh, comes from above. Uh, real joy, uh, real peace, uh, real love. Uh, come from above, uh, not from man. Uh, you can have something today, uh, and next week uh, you don't want it no more. Uh, but one thing I found out uh, when you get in touch uh, with Jesus uh, is a seven go. Uh, I have none, but in the name of Jesus Christ, now rise up and walk. Uh, the only way you're going to come out of that place uh, where you are uh, is called on the name of Jesus. He is a strong deliverer, uh, He'll restore, uh, He'll bring you back, uh, He'll lift you up out of that place. Uh, well, you've been stuck all these years. Huh? You've been stuck in a place. Huh? You've been sitting there wounded huh? and bruised huh? and upset huh? and bitter. Huh? Feel abandoned. Huh? Feel like nobody loves her. Huh? Unworthy. Shame and guilt. But I come tonight to tell you it's time to rise up from that place. You've been sitting at the gate too long. It's time to rise up from the gate and come on in the house now. Here he is now. Sitting. And they didn't give him what he wanted. They gave him what he needed because what you want will destroy you and what you need will save your life i'm gonna say that again what you want will destroy you and what you need will destroy your life the devil always gave you what you want to destroy you and god gives you what you need to come out thank you jesus hallelujah it says now and they looked at him and took him by the right hand and lift him up Meeting his feet and ankle bone, received strength. And he was leaping in, up and stood and walked and entered with them into the temple, walking and leaping and praising God. You got to get in a place and realize that God is the one that's going to deliver you. I don't care where you are. You can't be ashamed to praise God when God deliver you. Uh, I don't care where you at. Uh, if God did it, give God glory. Uh, thank you, Jesus. Uh, the Bible said we've been endured for a night, uh, but joy comes in the morning. Uh, he is now. Uh, he's been sitting. Uh, and the Bible says in Acts 4.22 uh, He said for 40 years uh, He was sitting at the gate uh, Light passing them by uh, Kids going to school uh, And graduated uh, Grandkids are going to school uh, And graduate. He's still sitting at the gate uh, Doing the same thing every day All day uh, Ain't nothing changing uh, Light passing them by uh, Stuck in a place uh, That he thought would never come out of uh, But he was crippled uh, But his mind was still working uh, But he thought uh, He was stuck in a place uh, He'll never come out But God sent somebody uh, That let him know uh, It's time to rise up From that place uh, And the Bible said When he received his strength uh, When he came back to himself uh, He was going to leap and praise God uh, You got to hang around somebody uh, that's going in the right direction because uh, wrong people uh, take you to the wrong place uh, wrong people uh, will cause you to miss God uh, true friends are like diamonds they're rare, uh, false friends like auto leash you'll find them everywhere uh, need somebody uh, that's going to come along beside you uh, and encourage you uh, when God does it uh, give God glory uh, when the rising of the sun uh, till the going of the same uh, he is a strong deliverer uh, he is a restorer uh, it said in verse 8 and he will leave Leaping him, stood up and walked and entered him with them into the temple, walking and leaping and praising God. And all the people uh, saw him walking and praising God. And they knew that it was him which asked for alms at the beautiful gate of the temple. And they were filled with wonder and amazement at which had happened unto him. And in verse 12, and it said, 
uh, let me go ahead now. And now he said now, he was leaping and praising God. He said, I want to hang out with y'all huh? because you came and encouraged me. Huh? I want to encourage somebody tonight. Huh? I don't care how long you've been there. Huh? I don't care how bad it seems. Huh? But the Bible says huh? in Acts huh? 4 and 10, huh? it says these words. Huh? He said, Israel, huh? the same God huh? that you crucified huh? is the same God Jesus Christ now that caused this man to rise up and walk. And the only way you're going to get up from the gate, huh? you got to confess the name of Jesus. Huh? He has to become Lord of your life. Huh? The enemy don't want you to get up. Huh? Now I come tonight to let you know you can get up. Huh? If you can look up, huh? you can get up. Huh? Thank you, Jesus. Huh? I don't care what has you down. Huh? If you can look up to heaven. Huh? And David said, huh? oh God, hear my cry. Huh? Attend to my prayer. Huh? When the enemy hurt my cry to you, huh? my heart overwhelms me. Huh? Lead me huh? to the rock. Huh? That's higher than I. Huh? You're shelter for me. Huh? In a strong place huh? away from my enemy. Huh? God is the one huh? that's going to bring you out. Huh? But when God brings you out, huh? make sure you get God praise. Huh? I've been the NA. Huh? I've been the AA. Huh? I've been the CA. Huh? I've been the DA. Huh? I've been the FA. Huh? But they couldn't deliver me. Huh? When I got to Jesus, huh? the one that died, huh? they put him in the grave. Huh? But early Sunday morning, huh? he told the grave. Huh? Oh, death, where's your sting? Huh? Oh, grave, where's your victory? Huh? And the Bible said, got up huh? early Sunday morning huh? with power huh? and authority. Huh? They couldn't hold him down. Huh? And nothing can hold you down when you get in touch with Jesus. Huh? He'll give you joy back. Huh? He'll give your mind back. Huh? He'll give your family back. Huh? Silver and gold huh? can't deliver. Huh? It can't heal. Huh? It can't restore. Huh? But in the name of Jesus, huh? he can do everything you need done in your life. Now here now, Peter and John, Acts 4 and 12 says, why do y'all look at us as though by our own power, with a little G, we call this man, our own godness, we call this man to rise up and walk. The Bible says in Isaiah 42 and verse 8, God not share glory with another, not give praises to graven images. But the Bible says in Isaiah 35 and verse 6, he called the lame to leap, the dumb to sing, the deaf to hear. He bring water in the wilderness and streams in the devil. Ain't nobody I know, not Buddha, not Muhammad, not Mary, not your sugar daddy, not your sugar mama, but the name of Jesus. Not your favorite dog or your favorite cat, but the name of Jesus. He's the only one I know has power to change things around. And Paul and, son, Paul and Peter and John realize that we can't do nothing without the power of God. We can't help nobody without the power of God. It's not about us. Huh? It's about him. Huh? So I come to encourage you tonight. Huh? It's time to rise up from the gate. Huh? You've been sitting at the gate too long. Huh? It's time to get up huh? and go into the place. Huh? You can have your mind back. Huh? You can have your family back. Huh? You can have your joy back. Huh? You can have your peace back. Huh? I don't care what people done told you. Huh? I don't care how many times you messed up. Huh? How many times you blowed it. Huh? I done messed up so many times. Huh? I should be on my way to hell tonight. Huh? But thank God for Jesus. Huh? That God's a patient God. Huh? He long suffering. Huh? He loves you just like you are. Huh? That's why the Bible says, Yeah, yeah, we're still sinners. Huh? That God's demonstrated his love. Huh? He said, The only begotten son huh? that help us. Huh? But in the love of God was manifest. Huh? He said, The only begotten son huh? that we might live through him. Huh? The only way you're going to come out huh? is at the name of Jesus. Huh? But the first thing you must do, huh? get connected huh? to Jesus. Huh? How do you get connected to Jesus? By getting into prayer, huh? getting into the word of God. Huh? You need to hear his voice. Huh? Let him talk to you, huh? Because throughout the day, huh? Hear all kind of voices, huh? Hear your voice, huh? The devil's voice, huh? And people's voice, huh? but not God's voice, huh? So God's trying huh? to get your attention tonight, to let you know, huh? It's been there long enough, huh? As the man did in John chapter 5, huh? He let the pool of a feather, huh? For 38 years, huh? The woman was bound up, huh? For 18 years, huh? The woman had an issue of blood, huh? For 12 years, huh? The woman had demons, huh? Mary Magdalene, huh? Had demons, huh? But Jesus showed up, huh? 
Uh, the man was paralyzed. Uh, in Mark chapter 2, uh, and Jesus showed up. Uh, I don't care what's holding you tonight. Uh, he's able to do it. Uh, for Paul and Silas, uh, he showed up. Uh, he broke the chains. Uh, he broke the shackles. Uh, he kicked the doors in. Uh, he opened up everything. Uh, when you begin to praise God, uh, the Bible says, uh, lift up your head, uh, oh you gates. Uh, lift up your everlasting doors, uh, and let the king of glory come in. Uh, who's the king of glory? Uh, the Lord of hosts. Uh, he's the king of glory. Uh, he's mighty in battle. Uh, he's strong deliverer. Uh, he's a comforter. Uh, he's an intercessor. Uh, he's a bright and morning star. Uh, he's a lily in the battle. Uh, he's a man from heaven. Uh, he's a son of man. Uh, he's a son of God. Uh, he will. Uh, he's a chief cornerstone. Uh, he's the line of the tribe of Judah. Uh, you have to realize uh, when praises go up, uh, power come down. Uh, when praises go up, uh, the devils come down. Uh, no matter what you're going through right now, don't wait for victory to come. Uh, start praising him right now. Uh, call him right now. Uh, he'll show up uh, on your behalf. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. For 40 years, he was sitting at the gate doing the same thing over and over again there's a story about a bear they took the bear to a place to rehabilitate him they put him in a cage the cage was eight foot forward and eight foot back after they rehabilitated him they took him out to his natural habitat where he was free his body was free but his mind was still stuck in that cage when they put him in his natural habitat, all he could do was go eight foot forward, eight foot back. And some of you have been trying to impress your mother, impress your wife, impress your friends because you went to a rehab, but you're still stuck. Your mind is still stuck in a place it shouldn't be stuck. You're still paralyzed in your mind because of what somebody did to you 50 years ago. 20 years ago, what they did to you last week. Some of your own family members done hurt you. Uh -huh. Some people you thought were your friend done hurt you. Uh -huh. And you trusted them. You allowed them. The Bible don't say nothing about trust no man. Uh -huh. It's saying a love man. Uh -huh. You got to quit trusting in people. Start trusting God. Because uh -huh. he's the one going to turn the thing around for you. Uh -huh. Man can't turn it around because you got some people around you. They don't want to see you do better. Uh -huh. They want to see you stuck. Uh -huh. but I come to encourage them. Uh -huh. It's been 16 years. Uh -huh. I'm free today. Uh -huh. Thank you, Jesus. Uh -huh. I'm not holding on to nothing uh, that's going to keep me paralyzed, uh, keep me not going forward. Uh, you got to let go of that thing that's been holding you and keeping you in the same place all these years. Uh, and stop making excuses why you that place, what they did to you, how they, what happened to your child. It's time to let that go until you make up your mind. Uh, nothing will never change because uh, the devil wants your mind. Uh, when the devil gets your mind, he has you. Uh, you got to make up your mind. I'm not sitting here at the gate alone. I'm getting up tonight and I'm going to walk away from this place tonight. It may be cocaine. It may be heroin. It may be a bad relationship. It may be alcohol. You may be prideful. You may be bitter. You may be arrogant. You thought you had it going on, but now you're stuck in a place because you thought you had it going on. You thought the world was a center stage and you was a center attraction, but you found out you had messed up. You got choked up. You got twisted up. But tonight, do you really want to come out of where you are? You got to rise in the name of Jesus tonight and come up out of that place because there's no one, there's nothing that can deliver you like the name of Jesus. There's healing in the name of Jesus. There's deliverance in that name. There's restoration in that name. And that name, demon tremble. He'll break every chain. Break every shackle. Release you from that place. You've been sitting for so long. But when we release you, it's a powerful thing to have your real joy. To be real with yourself. Be real with God. He already knows every weak thing. Every struggle. He already knows. Uh, your very heart to die. Uh, he knows your uprising, uh, your down setting. Uh, he knows your lying down. Uh, he comes in your past. Uh, he's acquainted with all your ways. Uh, you might have come clean tonight. Uh, say, Lord, here I am. Uh, I like doing what I'm doing, uh, and I can't stop. Uh, you got to admit to God, uh, I'm jacked up. Uh, I'm tore up on the floor. Uh, I'm beat up on the feet of her. Uh, and I need some help. Uh, I need a checkup for the neck up. Uh, Lord, fix my heart. Uh, Lord, fix 
my mind. Lord, turn me back to you again. Some of you out there, you're backslidden. And you thought you could do it one more time. And you can handle it. You can't handle nothing. You can't overcome nothing except you give it to Jesus. Every day, you got to surrender to Jesus. Every day, ask God to change you, to restore you, to bring you to your rightful self again. I don't know where you are tonight and how long you've been in that place, but it don't matter with God, only how long you've been there, he's concerned about the plan and the purpose he has for your life, where you're going. The enemy wants to keep you where you are, but God wants to take you where you're supposed to be and not where you want to be. Because the way you want to be got you at the gate now, and where you need to be, he'll get you where you need to go. Quit looking to the world for fame and fashion. It's all a lie. It ain't real. It's a facade. It's a trap. It's a scheme of the enemy to, the, to divert you from the purpose and the plan that God has for your life. And tonight, if you need prayer tonight, you need to be saved tonight. We repeat these words. Say, Lord Jesus, forgive me my sins. Come into my heart and cleanse me. Set me free. Help me to overcome myself. Help me overcome my pride. Help me overcome this lust. Help me overcome all these lies. Help me to overcome deception. Help me overcome all this stuff. We break every chain of the devil, every witch and warlock. We break your power tonight in the name of Jesus. Every addiction be broken right now. Every alcoholic, every homosexual, every lesbian, every, every drug addict, every heroin addict be broken tonight in the name of Jesus. Every form of bondage, every wound, every bruise, every emotional scar, every emotional wound be healed tonight in the name is you. Lord, you sent your word to heal and live all the structure. You heal the broken heart and you bound the wound. Lord, heal tonight. Lord, restore tonight. Lord, demonstrate your power tonight, oh God. As Paul said in 1 Corinthians 2 and 4, he said, uh, my speech is not an eloquent word, uh, but sweet word, and demonstrate of the spirit that your faith will not be in the power of man, but in the power of God. God is the only one with the power to deliver you. No one else can bring you out but God. But if you need prayer tonight, you can call 714-299-6098. Or you can call 714-299-7352. You can call the number someone will pray for you. If you want to donate, so into this ministry, you're welcome to do so at those numbers. And tonight, no matter what you're going through, you don't have to sit the gate any longer. Don't listen to what people say, but listen to what God says. Because what God say going to bring you out, what people say will make you doubt what God does. This is power encounter, and God bless you. We love you, and I mean that from my heart. And I'll be praying. I don't know your name. You don't know me, but God know you. I'll be praying for you, wherever you are right now, wherever you're going through right now. And that person right there is bound right now about the OD on that cocaine right now. I speak life to you right now. You shall not die but live and declare the works of the Lord. I speak uh, to that little, little runaway child right now that's lost, been hurt, been bruised, been molested by the stepfather. I pray in the name of Jesus right now that you be healed. Lord, send a word. Huh? Send the anointing now in the name of Jesus. Lord, bring her back. Huh? Lord, bring conviction on our heart. Huh? Bring conviction in our mind to come back to you. That backslidden preacher, that backslidden deacon. Huh? Oh, God. God, that youth minister, oh God, right now, God, that musician, oh God, oh God, that worship leader that fell back and got stuck in a place, but tonight, in the name of Jesus, we're calling you back, come back from that place of destruction, come back from that place of the destruction where the enemy has pushed you into, you allow yourself to fall into a trap and a snare, but tonight, in the name of Jesus, I plead the blood of Jesus over your life tonight, in the name of Jesus, devil, Lucifer, let him go now, in the name of Jesus, and Lord, we thank you, Lord, let your anointing flow now, let let your power flow now. Lord, send the rain. Uh, send the wind. Uh, send the fire of the Holy Ghost afresh in the name of Jesus. Lord, bring it back to you again, oh God. And Lord, we thank you for it now. Lord, we thank you for it now. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you. We love you. It's power encounter. We'll be back at Lord's winning next Tuesday night. God bless you. Love you. Have a wonderful, wonderful weekend. Bless you.